Let's begin with the basics. What is a cardinal? Kevin Eckery is spokesperson for the Roman Catholic Diocese of San Diego. He says cardinals advise the Pope and, when the time comes, select the new one. The main thing everybody hears about is when they gather in a conclave, which is what it's called to elect a new Pope, but they have continuing responsibilities as well just to help make sure that the Pope isn't sitting isolated in Vatican City. Traditionally, archbishops from big cities like New York, LA, Chicago, or San Francisco are appointed cardinals. But Eckery says that Pope Francis likes to shake things up. The Pope is very conscious of the fact he's living in a bubble. And when you live in a bubble, everybody tells you what they think you want to hear. And I think what's been very, very clear with this Pope is he doesn't want to just be told what he wants to hear. He wants to be told the truth. Eckery says that Bishop McElroy is a kind and smart man, one with two degrees from Harvard and a doctorate from Stanford. McElroy is considered a progressive among Catholics, but Eckery says that he's more concerned with faith than politics. For him, it's all about what is Catholic teaching? What, what, what are we about as a church? And he doesn't get involved in the, you know, what would Democrats do? What would Republicans do? For him, you know, the church is not a political party. McElroy has adopted a welcoming approach towards gay Catholics. He's also spoken out against excluding Catholic politicians from participating in certain sacraments. The Archbishop of San Francisco recently said he would no longer allow U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to receive communion because of her stance on abortion. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.